Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. I gotta admit, the truck looks awful good today. But more important than the truck is the house we just finished. This house, story behind it. Uh, this customer saw a house that they fell in love with, but um, well, we couldn't find the plan designer or get the plan copy, so we redesigned the plan. Uh, similar, but with their personal touches on it. And it's finally completed after much design, much drama. And uh, I gotta say, it's nothing short of spectacular. I'm gonna start talking about some different designs. Uh, we did specific landscaping. You see the sh shape of that? We got two palm trees in a, a circle with a certain shape in there. Probably be a fountain in there in the future. And anyway, we've got sod on the front yard. We did a circular driveway. We made a few other instructional videos showing this driveway being poured, but it's, if you see the finished product, really, really, really nice details of the, the garage or landscaping people did. Now, the front of this house has certain features. It's almost like a Y-shaped house. You've got a wing off to the left and the right. The right, they made this a three-car garage. We put arches with arch brick and arch-shaped doors, and he's got three carriage lights right over top of the door. Up there is a stair staircase, so we had to put the dormer on there, so we have a, a place for a stair staircase to go upstairs, and we bumped the dormer out of the back, so that you know they, they have a view out of the back out of the upstairs bedrooms. Anyway, put a stone arch in the front. At first, that porch was closed in, but we opened up the sides. Um, was a, it's kind of a decision we made as we were building it. You have this stone gable in the front with an arch window. You've got two windows there, and you see one of those windows is actually in the shower. Um, so we have those up high for natural light, but you obviously you don't want to view into your shower and you got to keep it high enough. So we put the left and right, and we got some brass flower boxes on each side for a detail, offset detail. The plan had called for some shutters under there, but we kind of decided to do go a little different direction. Also a door going in here. We have a wrought iron brick step with wrought iron white rails. And on the front, we have our stone steps. That's a, that's a flagstone, random flagstone pattern. And you've got... Uh, um, they're not wrought iron, they're powder coated aluminum made to look like wrought iron rails. Uh, we do those because they're maintenance free. Uh, if, with wrought iron you can have rust down the road, which can be cumbersome. And uh, like I said, we've got a stone front, stone front part of the step there and a concrete porch. And we have a mahogany front door with a full arch that's stained like a dark ebony color. And our porch detail, we have a knotty pine tongue and groove ceiling. You come up in this porch, where you get to see the stone details, the brick detail, gray color with the brick, and you get to see over here. And as the bushes grow, there's going to be a real nice feeling when you're on the front porch. And front door, that glass is called Flemish glass, an obscured glass. You can see light coming through, but you can't see anything that's going on inside the house. So let's go take a look. When you come in, first view is of the great room. Good, nice coffered ceiling with recessed lights, and you've got your focal point of your fireplace and hearth. And of course, you've got a view out into the back porch. It's a very, very open floor plan. This is almost like a hallway that leads back to the master. So over here, you put a piece of furniture or a bench. There's a coat closet over to the right. You see right into your kitchen island and into your dining area. Um, the space is separated. You've got some ceiling height details. In the hallway, this drops down in your great room. Again, you've got that coffered ceiling with the crown mold. And then over into the kitchen, that bulkhead comes down. You can still see in there. It's still open, but there's some separation of the spaces. It went with a light color cabinet and a dark island. Um, and they really, they really, really did a nice job with this. Uh, we've got stainless steel double oven. You've got a textured tile backsplash and a smooth, uh, smooth range. Like I said, two different colors. Different color island, you see a lot of that. In the dining area, we have a raised coffer ceiling, or tray ceiling, whatever you want to call it. It's got, uh, and it, it's hex, like kind of octagon bay shaped at the end of the dining area where there's a bay. This is a textured, uh, called a distressed floor. It's actually an engineered floor, but it's got the, uh, kind of that hand scraped textured look. And this goes that back out to our screen porch, and we'll be showing you that in just a moment. So that's the main core of the house. There's a fireplace, fireplace and TV, that's your focal point. 
Oh, chandelier, great room. Oh, it's crystal. And in this hallway area here, we put our uh, trim, our shadow box chair rail. And you've got that also over in the dining area. And there's some in the staircase. We'll show you that in a moment. Over in the dining area, you've got that same detail. Now this detail, this trim detail, follows the hallway into the master. And here's our master suite. Our master suite also goes out to the screen porch as well. So you've got an area where you have a recreational area, screen porch, and more of a dining area. In the master bedroom area, this is where the bed's going to go. And next to the beds, it's the first house we've done this. I'm going to make this a standard feature. You see those, there's your receptacle for your plugs, but it's two USB ports because we've all got chargers nowadays next to our phones. So we're trying to make that a standard feature. You have USB receptacles next to, next to the bedside on his and hers. So you can plug your phone, iPhones, iPads, any USB device, and hopefully USBs won't go out of style. And if they do, you still have a standard receptacle. This is your thermostat, you've got a separate zone here. Now, to the master suite, you've got a set of barn doors. So these can close. Let me show you the close. Stained wood barn door. Still have to do the final adjustments on them, but they've got a stainless steel track and your cross buck pattern on your barn door. All right, let's go look at the master suite. Now this master suite is really, as we look at the shower, hopefully you'll be impressed because we really like the way it, it, it ended up coming out. There's your uh, Actually, there's your freestanding tub. It's got a pedestal, pedestal faucet with a wand. Um, it's nice to be able to see the, uh, um, the tub. Those uh, freestanding tubs are pretty. They're meant to be seen. Now, you've got his and her sinks left and right. And it's a great job. That's a hanging mirror. That's not an attached mirror. That's an aftermarket mirror they bought with a light fixture. And identical on the same side. And that's Delta Linden is uh, the brand and name of the faucet. That's pretty much our standard faucet. You can pick whatever you like, but that's, that's, you know, that's our default. Um, shower curb, you can see the granite. The quartz matches, matches the countertop. It matches the seat. The seat in the shower, and that kind of ties the whole thing together. But this shower, they went ahead and put tile on the ceiling as well. And they have a rain shower head. Your standard shower head, and then you have your wand on a bar, adjustable height wand, and you've got your hot and cold and your diverter valve and a seat as well. And they also did a decorative border around in the tile, and it, did, it matches a decorative border around the uh, around the uh, shower here, the glass. They've also got another bathroom upstairs has the same same pattern, so it all the theme is consistent. Now, here we have a window. We call that a transom window because it's up high. Uh, this isn't really a true transom window, it's just a fixed pane window, but you can see the stone on the front porch, you get natural light in your shower, but of course nobody sees in. And we put it up high for a reason, so the water doesn't, you, know, you don't want water interfering where there's a window. And it's a frameless, frameless shower door. Right over here, it's just your commode room, comfort height, elongated bowl toilets. Which is a standard feature, and this is your master closet. It's got the arch-shaped windows, you have plenty of natural light, you've got a his and hers area, you've got your transom window, some wire shelves with shoe rack and super slide, got some more shelves over there, and this one actually has a door, that was that front door, it goes out from the master closet out to the front. And that's our master suite, very interesting master suite, I really like the way it came out. Oh, there's our tub, we'll get a little closer look at that. That slit there is your overflow. If the tub gets too full, it has a place to go. Pedestal. And your wand. Help you get in all the nooks and crannies. All right, let's go take a look upstairs. All right, going back to the kitchen. Oh, when you come out of the kitchen, this is office slash pantry. There's a closet back there. It can be used for pantry items. It can be used for the office. Um, it's kind of the flex room. I call it the slash room, office slash pantry. And also there's a, uh, here's a laundry room. 
they've got their blinds on top of there. It'll look a little prettier with once we get those taken off. But there's the cabinets. They got a nice light fixture in here, and they got a nice deep scrub sink or utility sink uh, with a cabinet as well. Uh, one more thing, they've also got next to the fridge. This is a pantry type, you know, full full length cabinet as well. There. And powder room. Love the powder room. They put, went with the furniture piece. That was an aftermarket ordered with the granite. Uh, and textured mirror. I mean, a oval shaped mirror with a, with a different shape on there. And there's just your light fixture. And we went ahead and put a recessed can in here as well. So they have lots of light. Now the stairs. Interesting here. This is a pre-finished manufactured stair. Uh, Floor. They really don't have a great stair option, so we want one with a finished and staying in place stair. But this is kind of back out of the way, so there's going to be a, always a color difference because you can't get an exact color match, but it's very close. And this was the smoothest transition we had to, that we had available to us to go from the manufactured floor, I mean the engineered floor, to the finished in place floor. Anyway, that's typically what we do with stairs because I just think they look a lot better. Uh, with a finished in place oak, and then we go ahead and do a finished in place oak on the landing, so everything's consistent. We don't want a lot of color changes. And we were gonna do carpet up here, but they changed and wanted all hard wood up here, so we went ahead and just ran the finished in place oak so that it's, once again, all consistent and our, and our color change is minimal, because you, you wanna have a monochromatic line of sight. There's one bedroom, nice view out the back. TV, fan, closet. Just second bedroom upstairs. Third bedroom, oh. The thing I wanted to point out, I love this trim on the stairs when we do it this way. So you have your, your shadow box and chair rail coming up the stairs, but that's like a uh, oh, parallelogram shape. And you got your shadow boxes down there and it follows all the way upstairs. It makes for a nice detail and a nice kind of formal hallway here. This is the upstairs bath. You've got square sinks, delta linen faucets. This cabinet is a little different. It's got the glazing on there. It's a cream color with glazing. Tile floor. And this tub, this is a tile surround instead of a uh, seven one piece fiberglass. I want a cast iron tub and we want the tile surround here. That costs a little more, but it does look a lot nicer um, for that bathroom. And, and like I said, we did that uh, glass. Uh, border, small glass mosaic tile border, so that it ties the whole theme of the house together. And of course, small window, natural light. All right, I'm back to the fourth bed, I mean third bedroom. I got a really nice ceiling fan in here. Again, they went with a finished in place oak. It was originally slated to be carpet, but they just decided to last minute to put wood in the whole thing. Um, Twin window, it's a nice, nice wooded view out back. There's a closet for the guest room, utility room. It's got some wire shelves, nice organizer system. Shelves, maybe for linens or whatnot. Uh, and this is the access door to the attic. And if you know anything about me, I like to put full size ac access doors. Those little mini doors that you have to duck down to don't work for me because I end up bumping my head. And it's not fun, but this. This also is kind of interesting. We've got a ceiling fan in that attic to keep the air moving because attics always get hot. And we put it down a nice utility space in here. We try to capture attic space so people have a nice storage. So I just try to train my framers to look, take that extra plywood, lay it down there so there's plenty of room. Plenty of room for extra storage seems to be something our customers really love. And then we have a nice big platform for the HVA system and the air handler. Now, last but not least, we need to look at the garage and screen porch. Also, that's just a little room under the stairs. We've got a lot of blinds in the way, but there's some storage back under there. We put some flooring under there, so it's another, another it's space, so we might as well not waste it. Now, out in the garage, this enters into your garage. I'll point out a few details. Number one, it's a three-car garage. You can see that out front. You see that last door there, how the track is higher? It's going to be a high track door because this is an automobile enthusiast 
He's going to pull cars in there. He wants to be able to lift them up. So if you get those tracks out of the way, he can, he's got enough height here to put a lift in. This is the landing. He asked if we can go with a composite deck. So we did, normally it's just a pressure treated wood, but this composite looks a lot better and it is a lot more durable. And we went with the upgraded rails as well, rather than a wood rail. Two schools of thought, it does look a lot nicer. It is in your garage, but this is a heck of a nice garage. So it's something they went ahead and did. That's a landing to get into house, but you've got nice spacious three car here. We're gonna take a, another look at that high track. We've done a fair number of these high track doors because we get a lot of automobile enthusiasts down here because we are in a, you know, Race City, USA, right near Mooresville. So that's a high lift door. It's a double skin insulated door. It's a nice door. Anyway, we like to finish our garages, so we put baseboard and paint it just so that uh, you're not seeing studs or those ugly frayed ends of sheetrock. Um, with some nice LED lights, and you put a fan in here to keep the air moving. Now, also, there's a utility door from the garage out to the back, so you can go to the backyard. And we went ahead and put a nice sidewalk in. So that you're not stepping out into the mud. So that way it walks around. They went with the black mulch and a lot of, a lot of shrubs here. So HVAC units. We try to hide those off to the back. Come out to the backyard. Hopefully the sun isn't blocking anything out here. But that's a back porch. Few things. There's a transom window to let natural light in there. I'll show you that in a moment. This is screened in. We wrapped the post in Miratech. Miratech wrapped and painted. Uh, nice big spacious porch. Now this is a. Uh, looks better if it's not all wet. It's just still still wet from the weather. But this we did a nice herringbone pattern. So that is a really pretty looking step. We went with a. It's cost a little more, but it's a lot nicer to have an actual metal screen door there than the wood one. Larson door, but in the screen porch area. This area is over by the dining area, by the great room, so they'll have the table and chairs in here, and we do have an electrical outlet for them. And then over here is off the, this will be the sitting area, and that's off the master bedroom. Uh, we've got knotty pine, stained knotty pine ceiling. We like that much better than vinyl. You should probably see that in lots of our videos. And we wrapped the beam, the beam that goes around the porch, we wrapped that in Miratech. So there's several different details there. It gives it a much richer look. Have the post wrapped these, this way. And the ceiling fan, of course. And we got the Florida style ceiling fan. If you notice, our windows are kind of that clay color. You can go with white, but a lot of times with the brick theme, people are going with that clay color. So we paint everything. Paint or wrap the aluminum and paint the doors all the same color. These windows into the great room have transom up above them, let in more natural light, but we actually vaulted this ceiling. You can see it goes up, so it's a real high ceiling. And up in the gable here, we've got a transom window, so you get, you get natural light, extra, extra light into your screen porch. And we want, we've got a recess, two recessed can lights and a nice speaker system in here. So we have speakers and can lights out here. There's your fan, and you look up the shape of that roof, it's a high cathedral. Cathedral with a with a flat portion up at the top of the roof. And that's your dining area. So once again, when you come in the front door, you see the front door through here, you get a view all the way through the house. So you get that nice open feel. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this house. I've called this house plan the Yale. This is all brick, landscaping all the way around. It's a beautiful house. Oh, let me show you that. This is the back dormer. That's a, that's a back bedroom, so we bumped out the dormer on the back side. Number one, so they have a view out the back. Get a little better view that way, and so it doesn't interrupt the front roof line that the customer wanted. So it's, it's a little bit invisible. Anyway, so this is the house that has it all. It just doesn't have a lot of square footage. It's not, it's not small, but it's, you know, it's about 2,500 square feet. There's plenty of living area, plenty of garage area, plenty of storage area, and plenty of porch area. Uh, anyway, so you've got that uh, kind of medium-sized house, but big house feel. Again, I'm going to take one more look out front because it's quite something. If you look from this way, look at that driveway. 
huge circular driveway, lots of parking, nice round detail, two, two palms in the front. Three car garage, we actually went with a matte finish that uh, our garage door installer was a little bit nervous about the matte finish, but it came out it came out perfect. So we got no reservations about it. We got keystones up there. And once again, our soffit and all it's done to match that clay color of the windows. Big arch front door. So that's it for this house. We appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, contact us at the numbers below if you enjoyed this video and want to hit the like button or the subscribe button please feel free